हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे वर्किंग एज द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वेर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज मीन बाय नॉइस वी नो दैट नॉइज इज एन अनवॉन्टेड इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल विच मे डिग्रेड्स the quality of the information signal or the quality of the original signal the noise also shows up in a television picture as a snow or colored snow known as confetti in this diagram the noise is present in the form of snow if the noise level is high then the original signal is weak that means noise is an unwanted quantity hence it should be removed there are mainly two types of noises first one is external noise and second one is internal noise the external noise further classified into three types atmospheric noise extraterrestrial noise and man made or industrial noise and the internal noise is further classified into four types thermal noise short noise transit time noise and miscellaneous internal noise let's see the description of each type one by one first of all see what is mean by external noise the noise whose sources are external to the receiver are called as external noise external noise are analyzed qualitatively as previously seen there are three types of external noise atmospheric noise extraterrestrial noise and third man made or industrial noise let's see it one by one For the first external noise is atmospheric noise as the name implies this noise originates from the atmosphere the atmospheric noise is also called as the static noise the atmospheric or static noise is caused by lightning discharge in thunderstorms and other natural electrical disturbances occurring in the atmosphere these disturbances are random in nature hence the energy spread over the complete frequency spectrum used for the radio communication that means during the lightning discharge the electrical disturbances are produced these electrical disturbances are acts as a noise in an original signal the next external noise is extraterrestrial noise this noise is also called as the space noise as the name implies the this noise originates from the space hence it is called as the space noise or extraterrestrial noise the space noise is further classified into two types solar noise and cosmic noise here is the diagram for the solar noise is shown in this diagram we can clearly see that the noise is produced from the sun hence it is named as the solar noise this diagram shows the cosmic noise in this diagram the noise produced by the distant stars hence it is called as the cosmic noise let's see what is mean by solar noise the noise comes from sun is called as solar noise sun is a large body at very high temperature above 6000 degree celsius on its surface and it radiates electrical energy in the form of noise over a wide spectrum energy that means the sun continuously radiates an electrical energy and this radiated electrical energy acts as a noise in an original signal the next type is cosmic noise this cosmic noise comes from the distant stars it includes sun the noise received from the distant stars is called as the thermal noise or black body noise or cosmic noise we also get noise from other distant galaxies and from other virtual point sources like quasars pulsars etc and also 
वी गेट दिस टाइप ऑफ नॉइज फ्रॉम आवर सेंटर ऑफ गैलेक्सी आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज मीन बाय एक्स्ट्रा टेरेस्ट्रियल नॉइज एंड फ्रॉम हाउ इट ओरिजिनेट्स द थर्ड एक्सटर्नल नॉइज इज मैन मेड और इंडस्ट्रियल नॉइज एज द नेम इम्प्लाइज दिस नॉइज ओरिजिनेट्स इन द इंडस्ट्री बाय द ह्यूमन बींग्स और बाय द मशीन्स द नॉइज इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन इंडस्ट्रीज सच एज एटोमोबाइल्स एयरक्राफ्ट इग्निशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर्स एंड स्विचिंग एयर्स एट्सेट्रा द मेन कॉज ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल नॉइज इज हाई वोल्टेज वायर्स दैट मीन्स वे वेर देर आर द हाई वोल्टेज वायर्स द इंडस्ट्रियल नॉइज और मैन मेड नॉइज इज प्रेजेंट दीज नॉइजेस आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय आर्क डिस्चार्ज टेकिंग प्लेस ड्यूरिंग द ऑपरेशंस ऑफ मशीन्स इट कैन बी रिड्यूस्ड बाय प्लेसिंग द इंडस्ट्रीज इन रिमोट एरियाज वी कैन इजीली रिमूव दिस नॉइज बाय प्लेसिंग आवर इंडस्ट्रीज इन फार मोस्ट एरिया और इन रिमोट एरिया ओके नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट इज मीन बाय इंटरनल नॉइज द नॉइज हुज सोर्सेस आर इंटरनल टू द रिसीवर आर कॉल्ड एज द इंटरनल नॉइज देर आर मोस्टली फोर टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरनल नॉइज थर्मल नॉइज शॉर्ट नॉइज ट्रांजिट टाइम नॉइज एंड मिसिलेनियस नॉइज दिस मिसिलेनियस नॉइज is further classified into flicker noise transistor thermal noise and partition noise let's see each one by one our first internal noise is thermal noise as the name implies this noise is produced by thermal means by heat let's see the thermal noise is also called as johnson noise or white noise thermal noise is the noise resulting from the random motions of electrons in conducting medium this type of noise is generated by all types of the resistance when the temperature increases then the collisions between electrons and the vibrate vibrating ions takes place thus there is a continuous transfer of energy between ions and electrons hence this gives rise to the noise voltage called as thermal noise that means when the temperature increases the random motion of the electrons also increases this random motion produces a thermal voltage and this thermal voltage acts as a noise in a communication system i hope you understand the concept of thermal noise okay now our next type is short noise the short noise is produced by the random arrival of electrons or holes at the output side the current carriers that means the electrons and holes are not moves in steady flow they are randomly varying and superimposed on the original signal that means at the output side the electrons or the holes are randomly occurred and this randomly occurrence of the these charge carriers produces noise in the output i hope you understand what is mean by short noise here the image is shown in this image this image is at the output side but these dot represent the random occurrence of electrons and holes due to this we cannot see the image clearly okay i hope you understand the concept of short noise the third type of noise is the transit time noise the noise which occurs in the transistor is called as the transit time noise the transit time is the duration of the time that it takes for a current carrier such as hole or current to move from the input to the output that means transit time noise occurs in the transistor and it occurs when it, the charge carriers move from the input towards the output the next 
noise is miscellaneous noise this noise is further classified into three types first one is flicker noise the flicker noise or modulation noise is appeared in the transistor operating at low audio frequencies that means the transistor who operates as low audio frequencies there is more chances to get flicker noise the flicker noise is proportional to the emitter current and the junction temperature the next type of noise is transistor thermal noise within the transistor the thermal noise is caused by the emitter base and collector internal resistances out of these three regions the base region contributes maximum thermal noise the last type is partition noise partition noise occurs whenever currents has to divide between two or more paths and results from the random fluctuations in the division the, therefore a diode is less noisy than transistor that means if the current goes in the straight direction then there is the less chances of the partition noise but if the tra- the current branches in many paths then the possibility of partition noise is more in diode the current flows in only one direction in only one path hence there is low possibility of partition noise but in the transistor the current may travel towards the collector or towards the elector uh, sorry emitter from the base hence there is a partition occurs therefore the possibility in the transistor the partition noise is more now let's see the short summary about the noise the noise we know that it is an unwanted electrical signal it degrades the quality of the original signal this noise is classified mainly into two types external noise and internal noise the external noise means the noise whose sources are external to the receiver are called as external noise and the noise whose sources are internal to the receiver is called as internal noise the external noise further classified into three types atmospheric noise extraterrestrial noise and man made or industrial noise the atmospheric noise originates from the atmosphere that means in the thunderstorm during the lightning discharge the electrical disturbances are produced this electrical disturbances that means this electrical voltages produces a large effect on the frequency spectrum this electrical disturbances acts like a noise in a communication system the second type is extraterrestrial noise the extraterrestrial noise originates from space hence it is also called as space noise mainly it comes from sun and the distant stars the noise which originates from sun is called as solar noise and the noise which originates from distant stars is called as cosmic noise the third one is man made or industrial noise as the name implies this noise is produced by the human beings in the industries in industries if there are high voltage lines are present and arc producing machinery is available then the possibility of industrial noise is more the internal noise first type is thermal noise if the temperature of the resistor increases then the random movement of the electrons also increases this random movement causes the thermal voltage and this thermal voltage acts as the noise in a communication system short noise this noise is produced at the output size by the random occurrence of electrons or holes 
the next one is transit time noise this type of noise is occurred in the tr transistor uh, during the flow of input side towards the output side and the last one is miscellaneous internal noise 